Hey there, it's Joe Boyver again from JB Web Tech. I wanted to make this presentation today to show you how to download, install, and run the Combo Fix program. Uh, this is another excellent program for removing malware that might be infecting your computer. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to start up Internet Explorer. And we're going to go to my website, jbwebtech.net. And if I scroll towards the bottom on the right hand side here, I have a links of interest. We're going to click the Combo Fix link. Um, you can download Combo Fix from the bleepingcomputer.com website, uh, and that's where this link takes you. When you get to this website, it gives you 10 minutes to actually download the program. And if you don't download it within then, you have to refresh the page to get another 10 minutes to download it. Um, it gives you a timer right here, and it tells you right here, please note that bleepingcomputer.com download link will expire in 10 minutes. So let's go ahead. You can click either one of these links. I'm going to click the top link. And I'm going to save it to the computer. Put it on the desktop. Hit save. And let's close this. Minimize the browsers. And let's run it. It's that red icon right here. So I double click on it to run it. And I click the run button. You have to agree to the terms and conditions in here, the disclaimer. It extracts all the files to the hard drive. Okay, once it's done extracting, uh, it's going to start up. We'll just give it a second. There it comes. Okay, once it starts up, you got to give it some more time to actually prepare itself to run. Um, it's going to do rest system restore point, so it's backing up your registry files right now. If you don't have the Windows Recovery Console installed, then it will prompt you to install it, to download and install it. Um, without the Recovery Console, it doesn't do as thorough a job, so if you don't have it, I do suggest that you uh, click yes and have it download and install the recovery console. All right, click yes for the end user license agreement. There it is. So let's click yes. It's installing the recovery console now. All right, congratulations. The recovery console was successfully installed. Uh, let's continue. Okay, so this notice here says that it could take up to 10 minutes to scan your computer, sometimes longer if you have a lot of infections. Um, you're going to see it go through a bunch of stages, stages 1 through I think 65, maybe more. Um, some of them a little slower, others go by really quick. So I'm actually probably going to pause the video because um, it could take 10 minutes and there's really nothing going to happen other than you're going to see completed stage one, completed stage two, completed stage three, and then so on. So um, when it gets to the end, I will resume the video and uh, we'll pick up from there. Okay, uh, it's going pretty quick, so I'm, I'm starting up the uh, the video again. It's all all the way up to stage 50 already. Now at the time I don't have any known viruses on this system. Um, I previously ran malware bytes on here and had cleaned it out. Um, so this should pretty much be a dry run. It shouldn't find anything. Let's hope not. Um, 
Okay, so it's it's finished. It did uh, 50 uh, 50 stages this time, and it's going to create a log report. And usually this log report um, stage takes quite a while to to generate. Um, just don't touch the computer. Don't do anything until it it comes up. It's going to open up the log report in Notepad. Um, it does take you know quite a while sometimes, so please you know just be patient with it. And uh, once you get the log report. Um, you can give it to someone who's trained in uh, virus removal here to uh, to actually take a look at it and see if there's any additional actions that need to be taken to remove any more viruses from the computer. So we'll give it a couple more seconds here to create the log report. Uh, I'm actually probably I'm going to pause the video again until the report pops up. Okay, and there it is. It just pops right up when it uh, when it's all done. Um, I'm not necessarily going to go through the log report here, um, but Assemble Fix did complete. It, it deleted the folder, um, the, the, the cache folder in the Windows in the Windows directory. Um, and then these are just some other items that your IT person can have a look at to see if there are any other actions that need to be taken. So um, that's it. Once you download, install, and run it, you close the log report. And uh, at this point, you should be clean. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I hope you found this video to be interesting and helpful to you. For more instructional videos and helpful computer tips and tricks, just head on over to jbwebtech.net and uh, check out my blog section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.